What is the most overrated band of all time? Looked through the first 10 comments and so far it's Beyonce and Drake. The next time this question is posted. Answer should require the overrated band plus a band that the commenter thinks is great and not at all overrated. Me scrolling to find my favorite band on here. According to Beavis and Butthead, the real answer is Winger. Driveshaft. Remember to sort by controversial. What's the biggest thing for you that tells you just how f asterisk ked up society is? One time I had a lady yell at me to move my ambulance while I did CPR on her teenage neighbor. CP's failing so many kids here where I live. One lived in a meth lab that blew up and CPS was called many times before. People can't follow the simple, don't be a dick, rule. Screaming at people who work in retail. My family has a degenerative disorder known as Chaco-Marie Tooth Disorder. HTTPS en.m.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash Chaco percent e2 percent 80 percent 93 Marie percent e2 percent 80 percent 93 tooth underscore disease. My parents had no idea until my sister was born. Where it manifested particularly strongly. She stopped breathing for a while when she was a baby and as a result. She is both physically disabled and developmentally delayed. She's 30 but is about 16 emotionally, mentally. Dad retired recently. So he applied for my sister to receive an increase to her social security benefits. We just got her to the point where she is trying to live independently. It isn't going well. Part of this means she had to be re-evaluated by the state. Wisconsin. And the results of this were. Comically evil. They sent my dad and my sister to an evaluation appointment at an office on the sixth floor of an old building downtown with a broken elevator. She's in a wheelchair and he's almost 70. So dad is frantically calling for assistance from his phone while they wait in the public lobby of this building. But no dice. No one at the office is answering. Luckily the guy doing the evaluation comes in from lunch or something. Asked them if they're here to see XYZ. And then runs up to his office. Grabs his stuff. Comes back down. And evaluates my sister in the lobby. My sister. Who can't walk. Can't. Fucking. Walk. Literally in a wheelchair. We get the letter with the results in the mail. They only communicate via snail mail. Mom is also chronically ill and dad has run ragged. So he doesn't get to the letter for about a week. She was denied. The guy evaluating her either said she was fine. Or the people receiving the evaluation ignored it. And because she was denied. She lost all her benefits. The state literally does not believe that my wheelchair-bound younger sister is disabled. Luckily for us there's an appeal window. 15 days. And they need 10 years of physical medical records proving she's disabled. Oh, and they only accept a response by fax. Not snail or email. And this was right before the holidays. When they would be closed until past the appeal deadline. Dad scrambled all day. Digging through boxes and collecting papers. And then had to drive to Kinko's to pay to use their fax machine. We assume they got it. And they told us so over the phone. Now all we can do is wait to see if we need to move my sister back into her parents' house. We don't expect to hear back from them for at least two months. Here's the kicker. It turns out. This is not unusual. In fact. It's generally accepted as par for the course. The state always denies your application. You must appeal. After all. If you weren't actually disabled. You wouldn't appeal, right? Oh yeah. And now that dad is retired. This is going to be a yearly thing. Or so I am told. Our society only values you by an amount exactly equal to how much money you can make some rich. Fuck even richer. And nothing beyond that. 
half of the tips on our life pro tips what food will you never get tired of no matter how many times you eat it fries all the way potatoes made anyway fried rice pasta or pizza what can i say i love italian cuisine bread subscribe my brothers